Hi guys, this is Hung Dango. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite the beautiful friend of mine, M. Aruda. She's here, lend me her canvas to create this makeup look for you. Um, we didn't want to do just like, you know, bronze, brown that we do all the time. So maybe we try green color. And I thought the look turned out really well. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you learn something from video. If not, just enjoy the application we did today. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video thumb up, share the video, and don't forget to follow M and myself on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. The first product I use is lip balm. I always put a lot of lip balm before I start makeup, let them sit and then I take off all the shine before I do lipstick. It's just the way that you can let the lip balm sit first. It's gonna help to really hydrate the lips for you. Second product I'm using also from Naturium. This is a beautiful multi-peptide eye cream. Very good for fine line, which M doesn't need it, but it's a beautiful eye cream texture on the makeup. Always very, very gentle on the eye area. The next product is the serum. This one is the serum from 111 Skin. Just press the product into the skin like this. The last step I'm going to use is the face cream and the vitamin C booster. Vitamin C is great for day or night, but most of us, it's good to use during the day. It's for brightening, it's great for people who have pigmentation, melasma. You just use a few drops like this. You mix with the moisturizer. Some of us, we just use vitamin C serum alone and then the moisturizer. But the booster is for those who just want two in one. So this is a great way for you to mix together. Always give a lot of love to the skin. Give your face a little facial, little massage. And I normally would leave the moisturize and everything on the face for a few minutes before foundation. If you don't have time, you can start foundation right away. But I think it's great if you can walk around the house, do your thing in the morning, and then let them soak in first before you start makeup. And if you do in the client, you can, you know, maybe moisturize their body first and everything else. Then you go to start doing makeup. For color corrector, I'm using is from NARS. For foundation concealer, I'm going to use it from Cladipole. This is a very beautiful foundation. It's a newer foundation they have, and this has been around for a long time, but it's also newly formulated, I think. They have a sunscreen in the concealer as well. To start, I use a little bit color corrector underneath the eye area here, around the nose. Anywhere that I see a little red net, a little color, M have really beautiful skin. Like the thing is that the face like this, normally I think they just need to use a little color corrector. That's all they need to wear. They don't have to wear a lot of foundation or anything. 
but just because for me I have to do all the steps for you to see so that's why I do it like this but normally I mean her skin like this to me I think she should get away with just a little color corrector and then concealer and you can see that the color corrector is a little bit it does take away from, uh, all the shadow that she has right there let you see just a little color corrector flawless but I know some of us love foundation concealer and everything so I'm gonna give you all the step as well for the foundation this is absolutely a beautiful foundation you can use very little here the thing about foundation the most question I have you guys ask me all the time is how to choose the right shades of foundation it's very hard to choose the right shades of foundation because most of us now there we wear pro sunscreen we're gonna wear a lot of sunscreen and it's good for the skin and we have to so everyone body a little more color and a lot of us more pale on the face like M, she wears sunscreen her face a little more paler than the body so you can't really match the foundation exactly her face because her face can be too pale and then if you match the body it can be too tan so you have to choose a shade that's somewhere in between the part that we really have to consider is the undertone whether a cool undertone or warm undertone so that's what really we worry about or some people just like neutral or any kind of undertone the level how light how dark a lot of time is really personal preference most people don't like to have the face too pale either so even if the shade is number two for you but you don't necessarily want to wear shade number two you want a little more color so you might go to use a little shade a little darker another thing to look at is that when you choose foundation try to choose the foundation that is mimic to the skin which means that if you choose the wrong shade a little off shade is still able to blend really well to the skin so you see right now m skin on the body a little more color than the face i chose the foundation a little more darker than the face but when you blend them together she looked just flawless with the rest of the face so you see that I just do a little bit and this is absolutely gorgeous foundation if you can afford it go for it I know the price point for this foundation a little high but it's very hydrating it's more like a serum foundation it's have great skincare ingredient benefit in here that's why the price point a little higher but it is you can see that it is such a beautiful luminous skin like foundation you see that it's just really beautiful and you don't need too much i just put a little dot and i blend it out and for someone who don't have as beautiful skin as M, you just use more tippling motion like this, you will get more coverage. If not, just do a tiny sheer color and you can see that it's just gonna blend everything together. So you can see that just a little bit blend out really well. This is very hydrating foundation. It's great for people who have drier skin, great for people who live in the cold weather. I know this is a Japanese brand, but it's from Asia, but they are, this is great for people like, for example, in Canada, it's too cold and dry. I mean, this is a perfect foundation for you. I'm going to use two brush to apply concealer. You can use your finger if you like to. The first one is this type of brush. I like to use it for under the eye area. And the concealer, I mean, this is cold favorite. You see it all the time. It's very, very good concealer. They more on the drier side because they are stick concealer. They're not as wet as the liquid concealer, but they are great for you cover under the eye, for pigmentation or um, pinpoint concealer for acne. I mean, these are great concealer. I use a little bit under the eye area. And then I use the other brush. It's like a soft, small blending brush. I use that to for around the nose area here. 
and anywhere that I want to cover more. Keep in mind that the concealer also in the higher price point, but you get a lot from the little stick. It lasts you for a long time. If you can find something cheaper and you like, it's fine. For me, I use all types of products. I like to use different products and I like to introduce people to different products. It doesn't mean that you cannot achieve this look with certain other products so if you find something you like i think it's work for you it works for you and i also want to mention is that i have so many comments asking me to do drugstore makeup video i did one before but most likely i won't do another one just because drugstore makeup is different in each country I did one of them and I have so many comments was like, well, we don't have that in our drugstore. So what care in America is maybe not care in Canada or in India and the viewers all over the world. So for me, my channel is never really about product focus. I mean, I use them, but you don't have to use them if you don't want to use them. So if you like this look, you can go and find similar product that you like with a different price point, whatever works for you. So I don't want to do a video that names say drugstore and then you comment was like, we don't have it. So it doesn't make any difference for me to do it. For powder, I'm going to use loose powder from Rare Beauty. And keep in mind that when you use concealer, make sure blend it out well before you set. Because if you don't, whatever you messing up, or you not blend it out, you will see really well after you set with the powder. M have very beautiful bone structure and everything. I don't think she need to have contour or anything at all. So I'm just gonna use some bronzer. The bronzer I'm using is from Gucci. The shade is number two. With a big brush like this, you see that I go very gentle, a little bit. And I just do mainly from the perimeter, uh, perimeter of the face to bring back some dimension and just a little bit. And you see, I just do a little bit like that and just bring back the mention to the face. And sometimes that's all you need to do. If you want to feel sculpted, bronzer is the way to go. You see that just a little bit. The brush I use a little too big, so I thought maybe use a smaller brush. Sometimes it's better, just a little bit maybe a little bit on the nose area for eyebrow i'm going to use these two products from a brand called trio the brow marker and this is the brow gel someone who like m have just beautiful eyebrow i don't want to start like paint it on and make it so heavy because the eye i'm doing pretty strong already so i'm gonna do it just really gel the eyebrow up and then i use a marker to fill in a few little piece a little area that i think it needed but i don't want to go overly painted on the eyebrow because i think it can look too harsh you see that just a little bit and then I will draw in after 
I mean her eyebrow is look great like this you don't have to do anything else but you see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit here a few little one and then just you know you just fill in more on the back here and just lift it and then maybe a little right there so the other color I use them a little too warm so I just change the color this is a different shade so we gotta put the right credit for you this is more a little cooler tone. I think it's great for M eyebrow. For eye, I'm going to use Eye Primer from Rare Beauty. This is like a greenish, like a deep green from Glossier. Mascara from Fenty. And the eyeshadow palette, this one from Natasha Denona. This is the palette I'm using. The shade I'm going to use, I think this green color. I think it's beautiful. To start, I'm going to use some eye primer all over the eyelid first. This way, it prime the eye and prepare for all the eyeshadow I'm going to put on. The eyeshadow I'm using is a lot, but if you're the type of person who cannot apply very clean shadow, you can do the, the eye first and then do the skin after. I usually do all the skin first and then I do the eye after. For the green liner, I do all over the waterline. Look up for me a little bit. You see that this is like, I mean for someone who don't want to use a black liner, you can use green, blue, or you know, violet. Those could be an alternative color that give you a different look and it's just beautiful as well. Sometimes we always use just brown and black all the time and it becomes so repetitive. And you put some on the upper lash line as well. and then use a small blending brush and smudge it out a little bit. This is a long wear pencil as well, but I feel like it does give you a little time to play. So you don't have to, if you want to do one eye at a time, you can, or you can do the same time like the way I do. I'm gonna add some on the upper water line as well. I'm going to use the liner to add a little right here. And then a little on the corner here as well to make the eye look quite feline. And pull it out a little bit. You also can use a little Q-tip and soften the edge it out. Or the blending brush earlier, just really blend it out. Do the same on the other side. I think even just like that, curl mascara, you're ready to go. You know, if you want to do further, you can. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this shade. It's almost like the liner shade. And then I'm gonna really set that. Look up for me a little bit. And just along the lash line. I set, but then I'm smudge it out at the same time. So I get the eye quite sultry. And I use a flat brush for this. 
And you see this, and I just smudge it out. Very gentle like that. I think I got a little makeup here. You can always take it out with a Q-tip. And you just really smudge it out. And the same thing on the top here. And what I'm gonna do a little bit on the corner here, just really push it up a little bit. I'm just gonna lift the eye up. And extend them even longer. But blend it up. And let's see. You see that look just beautiful. This is one another look, you can do like that as well. Next, I'm going to use this shade right here. I think I'm gonna skip that shade, I'm taking more softer shades here. And I put on the crease area. SCM. Ooh, the color is so gorgeous. Using the same shades, do a little bit on the inner part here. Close your eye a little bit. Even more right there for me. The same thing, look up for me. Close your eye. And then I use that to soften the edge it out. Look up for me. Just a little bit on the bottom here. A little bit there. What I'm gonna do next as well, I use a clean brush like this. Look up for me. I just blend it out. Blend it out. Close the eye for me. And then you use that. You just really blend the edge it out and just brush the color outward like this. Just blend it out. And then the brush earlier with the color, there's nothing else. You just blend it out more. You put out a little more like this. So it's really lifted the eye. And that clean brush. do the same on the other side. I always curl the lashes before I apply mascara. For mascara, I'm going to apply two coats of this volumizing mascara from Fenty. Two on the upper lashes and one on the lower lashes. This is a great volumized mascara as well, if you want to try. It does help to lengthen as well. For blush, I'm going to use the Glow Wish blush from Huda Beauty. I love this formulation. It's quite beautiful. And just use a little bit. You know, I know I swirl them like this, but very gentle. And the color is pretty soft which I love. And this color is beautiful in an M skin tone or for someone who want very subtle blush or pale skin. I think this is beautiful color. And you see that the color is just really subtle but it's beautiful.
I think it's just such a gorgeous shade on M. Let's see. Wow, it's just beautiful. For highlighter, I'm going to use this palette from Hourglass. This is a great subtle highlighter. You can use all three shades, or you can use whatever shade you like. It gives you beautiful highlight, but not too popping. Well, I think this is for someone who loves the glow from within. It's a great highlight for you. And I use a fan brush. It's very little. It's just gorgeous. You see that? A little bit everywhere. Just subtle. For lips, I'm going to use this lipstick from NARS. This is a beautiful formulation. It's matte, but it's very hydrating matte. I love it. And this lip liner from Huda Beauty, they are very similar shade. This is just a little deeper. To start, I'm going to outline the shape a little bit. Slightly smile for me. And you don't have to use a lip liner for this formula, but I just want to outline a little bit. Next, I'm using the blending brush and I soften the edge it out. I do this a lot. I like it when you don't have a harsh line of the lip liner. And this is quite beautiful. It's, it has that blurring effect as well. I think it's quite a good formula for matte lipstick. I think this is such a gorgeous lips color. So beautiful. To complete the look, I'm going to set the makeup with Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. That's the final look, guys. I hope you enjoy the look. I hope you learn something, pick some tips up. If not, you enjoy the entertainment of watching the video. Thank you, M, so much for coming to the channel. Lend me your canvas to create this makeup look. And make sure everyone please share the video, give the video a thumb up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to follow both M and myself and my team on Instagram as well. Thank you.